right, guys, we're going to do a reading today for Pisces person. We're going to see what your person is thinking and feeling. This may resonate for the person that you are thinking and or dealing with, or this may not. Check out the reading down below. There's plenty, plenty, plenty readings in the channel. I think there's over 100 now. All right, let's see what we can get. Universe, spirits, gods, and angels. What is Pisces person thinking and or feeling? So right now, they're thinking and or feeling that you're being a queen of swords. So you could be very logical. You're seeing everything very black and white. You're not, I feel like you're wanting the situation between you guys to transform in some way, shape, or form. And you could be not taking offers right now, Pisces, that you don't feel are in your favor. So this person is showing up as a king of cups. That can be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like this person has a lot of emotion for you, Pisces. I always get with this card, especially with this King of Cups, that you could possibly not know how much emotion they have for you. Pisces, I feel like right now with this Queen of Swords energy, you're wanting clarity. You're wanting enlightenment. You're wanting transformation. And I do see that this person's willing and ready to give you their cup. With this Two of Wands, they're needing to choose a direction. And what I'm getting, because I see the two of wands with the world down here, I'm getting that they're needing to choose to bring a change in this connection, in this dynamic. They're needing to bring things, things need to evolve in some way, shape, or aspect. Pisces, I feel like right now, um, this person is definitely, you could be dealing with a Virgo, not necessarily, but I feel like this person is reflecting on how they can change it, how they can transform it, how they can balance this connection, how they can heal this connection with you. With the Seven of Pentacles underneath, I do feel like they're wanting to invest with you, but I do feel like they think you could be a little bit cold right now, Pisces, especially with the energy that you're portraying when it comes to them. You could be a very, like, cut off, not really, you're not sharing more than what you need to when it comes to this person right now. I feel like you've, you've set a boundary, but you felt it was time for a boundary, Pisces. With the Hierophant, you guys could actually have different ways of thinking. You could be on different pages when it comes to this relationship and connection. That's only going to be for a few of you. What I'm really getting with this card though, Pisces, is I feel like one of you could expect something different than the other person was willing to give. One of you could have a traditional way of thinking, a traditional way of being. Um, you guys could do things differently. I do get with the higher thing energy, Hmm. What do we have for the Hierophant? Yeah. I feel like, because I see the King of Swords underneath, I feel like, Pisces, you and this person could not be willing to budge. Either one of you be willing to budge on what direction you want things to go in. So this could be something as simple as one person wants to get married, one person doesn't. Um, this could be as simple as one person wants kid, one person doesn't. But there's something that both of you... had set a boundary for, but what I'm seeing, Pisces, is I see the Empress Page of Wands. I feel like this person's going to come in with a message of good news. With the Empress, this person sees you very abundant, nurturing, caring, loving. They see you one of a kind, and I feel like they're ready to bring in that offer to you. I feel like they're trying to let go of any fear that they have when it comes to investing and building a family and having that stability, um, but I do see a message coming in. This could be a Capricorn. If not, you guys could have had a rough time in the past fighting off toxicities or toxic tendencies, desires, toxic ways of being. Yeah, somebody could have definitely walked away in the past in this connection or someone could have been wanting to walk away. Let's get a few of my homemade cards and see what they say. I definitely feel like in the past, Pisces, neither one of you were willing to budge on what you wanted, but I do kind of get an energy that somebody might be willing to come in and compromise because they're wanting this relationship to transform. Yeah, they're wanting a long-term relationship with you, Pisces. Someone's going to definitely come in and speak some sort of truth. I feel like they've been regretting not telling you everything, how they felt, what they felt, um, 
Yeah, they could have not told you how grateful for this connection that they were or how grateful they were to have you in their environment and in, the, in their life. And the timing could have just not been right, Pisces, for both of you to take a leap of faith. I did see with this Hierophant here, I've got a lot of divine timing. So I feel like things could have happened in this connection the way that they were meant to. Somebody could have definitely left their options open or tried to leave their options open thinking something better was going to come in and didn't realize that they already had the best of the best. We do have twin flame energy. So this is a very strong connection and there is an emotional bond between you and this person. So a lot of love, and I do feel like this person's ready for the ultimate commitment. So Pisces, if you guys have been having a rough patch, I still see it going in a positive direction. I see things evolving, yeah. And see collision of beliefs and ways of life. Someone's willing to compromise with this coming out in reverse. Someone's willing to change the way that they think, believe, their approach. Because I feel like I'm getting this energy that it's like, okay, I can either continue to be stubborn, hard-headed, and not compromise, and I can go without Pisces, cross-watcher, take it how it resonates, or I can tell them exactly how I feel, exactly what I've held back, and we'll see where it goes. I do feel like this person is worried that you're not going to take their offer, Pisces, and that could be a marriage proposal. You could be in a committed relationship with this person, and they're scared if they offer marriage, you're not going to accept it. So there is some sort of fear of something not being accepted here. But I do see that someone has been hiding their feelings. Yeah, I feel like if you both just give in to this and you both invest as much as you can, you guys would be an amazing power couple. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Not necessarily. I see the energy, so I'm going to say it. Um, I feel like this person could definitely be working a lot right now, focusing on their money, their finances. You both could be doing that. Just really trying to worry about the things that you control. You can control. But they do want to see you, Pisces. I feel like they miss you. If you're not with this person, they miss you. Yeah, someone has regret. So something's happened where someone felt that they needed to have... Something has happened where someone has had to live with their choices. And it could have been something as simple as someone not fighting for this. Because I'm saying it's worth fighting for. So someone could have, again, acted like there was something better. And it could have been fear, Pisces. And I get that. Someone's finally ready to turn their fear into love. I feel like someone's finally ready to let that wall down. Pisces, they dream of you. And that is just the universe's way of bringing things back around or making things go in the direction they need to go in. Yeah, because I feel like them dreaming of you and things, they're having revelations. They're having epiphanies. I feel like every single day they learn a little bit more about how they feel for you. Pisces, I feel like when this person's not with you, they miss you so much. They dream of you. They daydream of you. They think about you at work. I feel like if you and this person is separated, they think about you all the time. I feel like they even dream about you at night, and I feel like they stay up really late at night thinking about you. I get a lot of thinking about the what ifs. I get a lot of thinking about, well, if I would have done this, if I would have just said that when they said this, I wonder what would have happened is what I'm getting. Anything else, Pisces? For Pisces? Pisces. This could have definitely started out with a friends with benefits situation for a select few of you. Anything else for Pisces? And then we're going to see maybe a few more tarot. Yep, this person absolutely thinks of you. They think of you often. This person could have been divorced or is divorced. And they needed to, um, I feel like they needed to heal Pisces. I feel like they needed to heal. They could have brought their wounds in the connection with you. I do get that this person watches you, Pisces. So if you have some sort of social media platform or like let's say you go to, let's say you and your kid, your their kid, your kid plays the same like softball, baseball, football. Yeah, I want to be more than friends. Um, I feel like they watch you. Let's say you go to like a trampoline park and you take your kid and you realize that they, they're there with their kid. I feel like they watch you. There's something about your energy, Pisces, that I feel like they're having a hard time letting go of. Yeah, and it's because they want to feel that way again. I feel like they miss the way you made them feel. 
And that's that twin flame energy. Twin flame energy. Yep, I wish I had treated you better. Twin flame energy is very intense. I can't stop thinking about you. You stay on this person's mind, Pisces. You stay on this person's mind. And I don't feel like they've ever thought about wanting to make something work as much as they're wanting to make this work. I feel like they truly, truly, yeah, we will be together again. That's what I was about to say. I feel like they truly, truly know that they can't be happy in this lifetime without being around you. And I feel like, Pisces, if you guys are separated, they are reminded of you so much. It's insane. Um, I just had a song pop in my head. This is super random, but it's Truth Hurts by Lizzo. So you could have listened to that song around this person. That person could think that you're a lot like Lizzo. Um, there's so many ways that that person can connect that song to you, but I feel like they do, Pisces. I feel like when this person hears a song, they think of you. But there's songs that this person hears, and the first person they think of is you, Pisces. And I feel like there's this dullness in their life, in their energy now. I get a little bit of a sulking, like, uh, kind of like Eeyore. Do you guys remember Eeyore off of Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, you bring this fulfillment to this person. And I feel like when you're not around them, Pisces, and you're not there, they're like Eeyore off of Winnie the Pooh. They're just sulking, like, I'm here. And you're like, dude, what is wrong with you? And I feel like the person this person could have lied to. So let's say you guys work together. Let's say you were around other people and this person was like, no, 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 no. They don't affect me that much. I don't really fuck with them that much. I don't like them that much. Well, now I feel like those people are noticing because they're like, wait, you act completely different when Pisces is here. You, you act better. You're more upbeat. You're more loving. You're more chill. What the hell has happened? And I feel like it's because you fulfilled them, Pisces, on a way that they didn't understand. You brought emotion out of them that they never thought they were going to be able to have again. And I felt like you brought this healing out in them that they needed to do. They needed that healing to happen for them, Pisces. And this person, although you might be okay where you're at, Pisces, I feel like this person's having a really hard time. They want healing. They know that they that this has this is their forever. Yeah, they want to bring in that message of good good news to you, and they want to bring it in really flipping quickly. This person wants to bring you in a very passionate offer. They miss you a lot, and if you're with this person now, Pisces, I feel like this person is ready to make a choice on whether or not it's time to take things to the next level. Yeah, there's things you don't know, Pisces, with this moon. There's things that are hidden from you. I feel like you're going to be shocked when this person comes back in. It could have been a really rough ending with this person for some of you, not all of you. But I feel like you're going to be shocked when this person comes back in. I do feel like you have a lot of emotion for this person. I feel like this person has a special place in your heart. But I feel like you're going to need to use your intuition on whether or not you can trust this person. If they mean well. I truly feel like this person had to heal. And I truly feel that they understand what they had with you, Pisces. And how much they miss you. But there is a lot of anxiety and fear on whether things are going to work out. Again, I get a lot of divine timing. I get that things had to happen the way that they were meant to happen. Let's get an angel card. And then we're going to wrap this up. Listen to your intuition and remain positive. So again, ask yourself. Yeah, communicate clearly. This person's coming back in, Pisces, if you're separated. Um, if not, you're about to go to a higher commitment. Yeah, there's no need to worry. No need to worry. Things are happening how they should. Well, congratulations, Pisces. This is amazing. I feel like this person knows exactly what they want now. And although they're still hesitating on whether they're wanting to come in or not, I feel like they're ready to come in at this point. Or they're thinking more about it. They're realizing they can't go much, lo much longer without you in their energy field, Pisces. And if you're with this person, I feel like they understand that they can't move on or they can't have a fulfilling life unless they have you with them. Is kind of what I get. 
I feel like there's a very strong bond and a very strong love here. All right, guys, I'm going to leave that here. Try to have a blessed day.